Hey everyone, welcome to the first section of Node.js tutorial series. In this series, I will be teaching Node.js from basics to advanced level. So let's begin with the journey. First thing, what is Node.js? Well, Node.js is a server-side technology. Let's take an example of a website like Amazon.com. When you type the URL in the browser, the request is sent to the server for the data. Program residing on the server makes request to the database, receives the data and sends further to the browser, which is also called as client. So the application you see on this server, which is receiving the request, fetching the data depending on that, or maybe processing it, and then it sends back to the client. This job is done by server side programming and Node.js helps you to create these types of programs. Programs residing on the servers are also known as web service, a microservice, maybe REST API, a server-side module, or many other names, but more or less, they do the same thing. They take or receive request, process it, and response back to the client. Like Node.js, there are many other server-side technologies. For example, Java, PHP, c .net, VB.net, etc. But we are choosing Node.js. Every technology has pros and cons. But that we learn as we go deeper in the series. And I assure you that you will be more clear with all these terminologies. But for now, you can just keep these words in your mind. So to begin Node.js, we first need to install it. So how do we install Node.js? It's really very easy to install Node.js. You go on the official site, nodejs.org. Click on the LTS version. This may vary depending on the time, but at the time of recording, it is 12.16.1. So I click here. It's going to ask me. I save it wherever I want to. So this is the executable file. Now I double click on it and the installation is started. And we are done with the installation. So once you have installed the Node.js, the next thing is we need to check whether it is installed properly or not. And for that, what we can do, we can go to the command prompt. Of course, node also has its own prompt now, but we will go to the command prompt and we'll type node V. This will display us that which version is installed. And if it displays the version, that means it is installed properly. Let's talk about the IDE now. Well, IDE is Integrated Development Environment, or in simple words, the editor which you are going to use to write the Node.js coding. You can certainly go with Atom, WebStorm, Sublime, or VS Code. I am going to use VS Code for this tutorial series, as it is a lightweight and quite user-friendly. But that is just a choice of individuals. You can download VS Code from this site. or any ID of your choice and install before we proceed to the next sections. So that's all for the installation and configuration. Let's move to next section and start working with Node.js. Feel free to ask questions in comments in case you have difficulty in installing. Thank you.